make a video on making popcorn outside. I'm out here with my chimney, and this is where we cook out a lot, um, all year round actually. We love our chimney, we love to cook outside on anything. Uh, but the chimney, right now, it's pretty hot. I already got it started, I have everything ready. But I want to show you, when you cook outside, they say when you cook on a grill, if you can hold your hand over the grill for five seconds, that I believe is like a low heat. When you start um, being able to hold your hand over it for like two seconds, that's high. That's kind of too hot, hot to cook on. So you want to get it down to where you can hold your hand over the, the grill for about five seconds before you need to move your hand. That's a good spot to, to cook. Right now, I can't get my hand too low. That's hot right there. That's real hot. So this is a good hot fire. I need to watch what I'm doing when I'm cooking the popcorn. I have my Griswold pan. I do that. I've got the Griswold. I'm going to put that right on there. And I need to be careful because this here chimney is a little bit crooked. I don't know if you can tell. It leans back a little bit. My pan is getting hot. I'm going to put my oil in. I do not measure the oil. And I'm not going to cook a lot of popcorn. I'm going to bring the camera closer. But I wanted you to see. I don't really measure the oil. See, you can tell the pan is, is kind of crooked here because my chimney is crooked. We'll be fixing that this week. But you want enough oil in there to cover your popcorn, okay? And then you're getting your grill hot. You're getting your pan hot. Okay? So, and a lot of times when I cook popcorn, I have a, a, some water and I'll splash it in there. I forgot to bring my water out. When you splash water in there, the grease pops. That's when you know it's ready. And I sure hope I don't get grease on my, on my print shirt. But I have my popcorn. Make sure that you have your lid handy. Cooking outside is a great way to cook things, but you gotta make sure everything is ready. I'm gonna actually cook this for the neighbor next door. Okay, I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. It's not hot enough. Mm, it smells delicious though. And this here is a one third cup measure and I keep it in the bag just because it's handy. Yeah, I gotta get the oil a little hotter. I'll bring you over here to kind of show you what this is gonna look like. There you go. Still not hot enough. You can see bubbles kind of popping up a little bit. It's getting there. If we look at the fire, it's pretty hot. It is probably about 84 degrees out here right now. Um, so, but we love to cook outside. I have my chair set up, and later on I'll be cooking um, pork chops. So, Mike, if you're around, come on over and have some pork chops with us and um, popcorn. But I have a, a neighbor next door with a little niece, and she's never had popcorn outside. So I'm going to cook two, you know what, three of my little three-fourth cups. As long as your oil is covering your popcorn, you'll be fine. Here it's starting to sizzle now. Make sure you have your lid on there because it's going to pop pretty crazy. And because it's kind of uneven, I'm going to shake it a little. It's hot. Okay. And once it starts popping, I'll be shaking it a lot. know if you can see, but while we're out here, I thought I'd show you, uh, right over here, we have some old wrought iron gates or a fence that we're going to put up around my garden. We're going to paint them and it'll look so pretty. Oh yeah, that's getting hot.
hoping you could see the fire and maybe even see a little bit of that heat coming off the pan. Let's see if I can bring you over one quick minute. Once it starts popping, you really got to watch it and got to move the pan around and you'll watch. You'll see as I do this. It's so easy to cook popcorn outside and so delicious. I don't put butter on my popcorn. I know a lot of people do. I like uh, just salt. I've actually put a little bit of sugar on it with the salt to make it kind of like a, a, a caramel corn type of thing uh, or kettle corn. that was <laughs> just a neighbor going by I'll wave to anybody <laughs> that's a real hot fire too I'm gonna have to have you guys fix this definitely it's hot over here it takes a little bit of time but once it goes once it starts popping it's done so you got to pay attention real close I've burnt popcorn before. Actually, um, the other night, I had hamburgers out here, and my husband and I were kind of hanging out. We had two pounds of hamburger, which worked out really good, because I burnt the first set. <laughs> he said, oh no, babe, they're great. I burned them. So watch your stuff real, real closely. Mm. It's gonna start popping. Bring you a little closer. Oh, there you go. See it? It's starting to pop. All right. Now it's going to go really quickly. So I'll put you back. And I'm sorry about all the shaking and moving. It's just the way, unfortunately, it's going to have to work. Because it's so hot and because it's uneven I've really got to be careful because I can burn myself and I can also drop the pan this is Griswold pan very heavy gosh I think the pan weighs five pounds <laughs> you can use whatever pan you have I do like the Griswold though I cook on it for everything See if I can catch it popping. you got to be careful but by golly it works it works and it's really good I got a little bit of popped oil on me but I don't think it hurt me I don't think I got burned now boy this thing weighs a ton look at all that good popcorn okay awesome awesome popcorn let's put the pan down here look at that popcorn is that great it's going to taste delicious. I don't have salt on it yet, but the thing about popcorn, even though it's just cooked, you can still eat it because it's not too hot. Mm, good stuff. So, make popcorn outside because it's fun. Make it because you love popcorn. And it really does have a different taste when you cook it outside over the hot coals, over the hot wood. Thanks for watching. Oh, MPS, that was my husband on his Harley. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to show off. I hope you like that big burnout. <laughs>